Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Goodfellas. What do you know about this? I think it's like a mob movie? Yeah, I think it's a mob movie. I know it's Martin Scorsese okay. and I know his specialty is like gangster crime mob films. Okay. And we've seen almost none of them. No. So this is Goodfellas. I have no idea where this falls in line in terms of Martin Scorsese's work. Yeah. But I mean, I'm super excited because he's a master at filmmaking. Yes. So <laughs> this should be awesome. So I don't know much about this, but I know um, from the movie poster, we got three big names. Yeah, three big names on the movie poster. We got Robert De Niro, mm -hmm. Ray Liotta, mm -hmm. and Joe Pesci. Yes. So I think Martin Scorsese throws a lot of these guys in a lot of his movies. I don't know if this is the first or not, but Regardless, I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. Um, I feel like I've heard nothing but good things about this, just in terms of people loving it. We want to thank our patrons, though, for voting for this to win our drama movie poll. So if you would like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Oh, wow. True story. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. New York, 1970. What's up? Did I hit something? What the fuck is that? Got someone in the trunk. <laughs> oh! Jesus! What a start! <laughs> Wise guy. So, true story, then a book, then a movie. Being a gangster was better than being president of the United States. I mean, they did whatever they wanted. Paul, who was the boss over everybody in the neighborhood, Paulie might have moved slow, but it was only because Paulie didn't have to move for anybody. I think Paulie might be the main badass. I knew everybody, and everybody knew me. You can barely see over the steering wheel. <laughs> see over the steering wheel, and I'm parking Cadillacs. It's a letter from school. It says you haven't been there in months. <laughs> He was mostly pissed because I hung around the cab stand. How about him? Nope. Uh-oh. You know this kid? Yeah. Any letter from that school to that kid's house comes directly here. You understand? Oh. Go ahead first. That was it. No more letters from anybody. Oh, my gosh. Or this is like his new main family. And all they got from Paulie was protection from other guys looking to rip them off. All for protection for people who can't go to the cops. That's all it is. Is that really all it is? <laughs> and they knew I was with somebody. Oh, man. At 13, I was making more money than most of the grown-ups in the neighborhood. Jeez, that's a lot for a 13-year-old. Oh. One day, some of the kids from the neighborhood carried my mother's groceries all the way home. It was out of respect. It's exactly what he wanted. Yeah. It was a glorious time. It was when I first met Jimmy Conway. Oh. Jimmy was the kind of guy who rooted for the bad guys in the movies. Hey, Jimmy! You got anything good? <laughs> the cops? No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? Where'd you get those cigarettes? Get him out of right. here. Get him out of here. For those cops. Everybody gets pinched, but you did it right. You told them nothing, and they got nothing. Never ran on your friends, and always keep your mouth shut. <laughs> These are two good rules. Oh, wow. It really is like his graduation with his whole family there. Seven years before the trunk incident. Some good casting. Yeah. There was 30 billion a year in cargo. If any of the truckers or airlines gave us any trouble, Paulie had his union people scare them with a strike. Jeez, it's just so well connected. There was Jimmy, Anthony Stabile. How you doing? Fat Andy. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Fat Andy. All their like names and nicknames. And Mikey Franchese. I saw that guy. Yeah, I want to see him. <laughs> I love this. I like the way this is filmed. Yeah, that was such an amazing scene. Yeah. For us to live any other way was nuts. If we wanted something, we just took it. I can't believe this guy. Oh, is this an issue? Piece of cake. It's all there. Okay. Don't worry about the alarms. I'm just afraid of everything. There could be like a half a mil coming in. All cash. Beautiful. What about the security? <laughs> He the security? Like he's picking up lost baggies with Tommy D. Huh? We're on. I think this is gonna go south. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd tell you to go fuck your mother. <laughs> it's funny, you know. It's a good story. It's funny. You're a funny guy. Funny how? 
I mean, what's funny about it? Oh, no. Yeah, uh-uh. everybody was laughing. I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. Oh, God. I make you laugh. Oh, my God, it's so awkward. What the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? You're the Tommy. <laughs> you motherfucker. I almost had Oh, my I God. <laughs> I almost shit my pants. <laughs> Wait, you could take care of this. I don't mean to be out of order, no. You don't mean to be out of order. <laughs> Call me a fucking deadbeat, you know? Oh, you know, son, you're God. a good fucking mutt. The waiter's like, thank God I didn't go over Seriously. There. Just leave, man. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> You're a funny guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way he, the way he laughs. I can't go here, I can't go there. You think you're the only one. What am I going to wear? I'm going to wind up being declared an MIA. They're going to find me in the back of a car somewhere in the weeds. Was that the guy in the trunk? Oh, jeez, I don't know. Tommy's a bad kid, he's a bad seed. What am I supposed to do, shoot him? That wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> oh, God, shoot Tommy. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll try to help you, all right? God bless you, Paulie. Okay. I appreciate it. God bless you. <laughs> yeah, I like Paulie. Yeah. Now the guy's got to come up with Paulie's money every week, no matter what. And as soon as the deliveries are made in the front door, you move the stuff out the back and sell it at a discount. I don't know if this is a great business model. Can't borrow another buck from the bank or buy another case of booze? You light a match. Oh. All right. Some insurance fraud? <laughs> anyway, she won't go out with me alone. Unless her girlfriend comes with us, I figure you come along and go out with a girl. What the fuck I asked you for, Henry? I'm asking you for a favor. I'm trying to bang this fucking broad. Wanna help me out? <laughs> fuck, see? You with your fucking mouth feed, you know <laughs> Didn't realize it was on fire. <laughs> I couldn't stand him. Oh. I thought he was really obnoxious. She's narrating. Before it was even time to go home, he was pushing me into the car and then pulling me out. Henry stood me up. Oh, man. Would I make Tommy take me looking for him? Oh no. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Frankie Valley or some oh. kind of big shot? You're making up to you. Oh, Karen. I'll think about it. She looked good. I'll think about it. <laughs> she looked good. It pushed you, Hill. Make it up. It pushed you. What a love story. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, see you later. Thanks. What are you doing? It's easier than leaving it out of the garage and waiting. Taste of the good life. Ooh, different entrance, too. Man. This way. He's better than waiting in the line. All of a sudden, he just wants to impress her. <laughs> Man, I want to be a gangster. <laughs> I love this shot, too. Mm -hmm. She really like her dress. <laughs> wow. What service? What do you do? I'm in construction. I don't feel like you're in construction. <laughs> Hopefully this goes smooth. We walked out with $420,000 without using a gun. Oh my gosh. That was so easy. Yeah. Hey, Karen. Hi. Uh -oh. How are you doing? Okay, Bruce. How are you? Good to meet you. Watch out, Bruce. I'll see you around later. No, you will not. <laughs> no, you're going to see Henry later. He lives across the street. He's about to live six feet under. Don't buy wigs that come off at the wrong time. <laughs> Maury's wigs are tested against hurricane winds. What a great ad. Jim's being an unconscionable ball breaker. Oh, give him his money and let us just get the fuck out of here. Hey, fuck him. Oh, no. Now, will you? Listen, you got money for that fucking commercial, you <laughs> The wig didn't stay on. <laughs> Did it not? No. <laughs> Wait, give me the fucking money. I'll give you. I'll give Hello? you. Hello? You got it, kid. Oh, what happened to Karen, Jimmy? Oh, oh no, I'm having to Karen. Who lives across the street from me that I've known all my life? Ooh, this guy is going to get destroyed. Do you think it's actually him? I know. I hope it's the right guy. Oh, hey. oh. Oh. If you touch her again, you're dead. Oh. oh, I hope it was him. I mean, he kind of deserved a punch in the face anyways. That was a little more <laughs> than a was... punch in the face. You're I know there are women who would have gotten out of there the minute their boyfriend gave them a gun to hide. I gotta admit the truth. It turned me on. <laughs> All right, she's a keeper. Mazel tov. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, everyone's paying their dues. This is all gonna come crashing down. I'm wondering where the narration is coming from. Like, are they in like court? Ooh, court or like an interrogation? Yeah. That's a really good point. He's a grown up. He doesn't have to call every five minutes. What kind of people are these? 
What do you want me to do? You don't know how I feel! Feel? How do you feel now? Like a gangster? Dad! Will you leave him out of this? He's jumping in up! I think how the dad was just sitting there on the couch, just trying to watch TV. A married man does not stay out like this. <laughs> Mom, no, 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 no. He just turned around and left. And they talked about how rotten their kids were, that the kids still didn't pay any attention. Who knows I could live like that? I know what I'm doing. I got things organized with these guys. Come on, don't worry so much, sweetie. The only way they could make extra money, real extra money, was to go out and cut a few corners. Cut a few corners. And there were never any outsiders around. It made everything seem all the more normal. Let's get a search warrant here for the premise. You boys want some coffee? No coffee, though. Thanks anyway. Seems routine for her. They were just looking for a handout, a few bucks to keep things quiet, no matter what they found. <laughs> just sit down and enjoy some TV. It was better to be polite and call the lawyer. She really acclimated pretty quickly to this whole lifestyle. I wanted to go shopping. Can I get some money? <laughs> How much do you need? <laughs> that much? Now that boy 1970. All grown up and doing the town. Look at this. I feel like this is the guy in the trunk. I used to call him Spit Shine Tommy. Yeah. I swear to God. I'm only kidding with you. Sometimes I mean, you don't sound like you're kidding. You know, there's a lot of people around. I'm sorry. I don't mean right. to offend you. I'm sorry, too. It's okay. No problem. Okay. Salud. Oh, man. This is not going well. Keep him here. Oh, Keep him here. Come on. Back. Back. Come on, no you face. fucking feel oh, strong. This is definitely the guy in the trunk. You, know, you insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. No, I didn't insult him. I didn't insult him. I'm surprised Jimmy and Henry kept their cool. Yeah. Oh, they didn't keep their cool. They just waited for the best opportunity. <laughs> oh, they're really fucking him up. I'm on the don't street. Worry, don't worry. I know place I'll never find him. Come on, let's get some more tape, of course. Man, Henry had nothing to do with this, really. But we know the two important rules. Never rat on your friends and keep your mouth shut. Oh, no, comfortable. No, no, no. I'll make you something to eat. Make you something to eat. It's great, but it's like a <laughs> So tell me, tell me, where have you been? I haven't seen you. So do you think this is after they dropped him off? No, I think he's, he's in still the trunk. in the trunk still? Yeah. Remind him, I need this knife. I'm going to take this. It's okay? Okay, yeah. Just need it for Bring it back, though, you know. <laughs> oh. Back to the beginning. Here we are. Fuck is that? You got out of line, you got whacked. Everybody knew the rules. Tommy had killed a made guy. Before you could touch a made guy, you had to have a good reason, or you'd be the one who got whacked. Yeah, they didn't get approval for this or anything. What do you hear about that thing? The guy who disappeared up the block from Christie. The one that made the beef on. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're busting my balls about this bastard, all right? Okay. Oh, man, is this one killing gonna just tear everything down? We got a real problem. You know that thing we took care of upstate? Yeah, we gotta get out of there. They just sold the property and they wanna make it into condominiums. What? Oh my gosh. Dig up this body. Disgusting. Six months later. I love the red though. I set up Janice in an apartment around the corner from the suite. Jeez. Starting a whole second family. Janice and I were having so much fun, she started screwing up at work. And Janice can do whatever she wants to do. You got it? Got it? Got it? I mean, with this path, he's going to have multiple. He's going to have a girlfriend now because now she's like elevated to the level of wife, practically. Oh, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Moving, you little prick. <laughs> Don't accidentally shoot someone. <laughs> oh, no. Out of control. Let him crawl there like he crawls for the fucking Take drink. Chatting, come on, Don't get me upset now. Don't get me upset now. Look at your face and I know that you're lying. <laughs> ready-made horse that's all you're good for jeez he's just like spiraling with the power hey, Spider, that fucking bandage right. on your foot is bigger than your fucking head you know that why don't you go fuck yourself tommy <laughs> oh no what the fuck are you doing are you a fucking fuck? sick maniac good shot good shot. a good shot they're getting out of control I knew she was going to find out. Get your own goddamn man! Oh, just fucking kill him. How could I hurt him? I couldn't even bring myself to leave him. No matter how bad I felt, I was still very attracted to him. Oh. I gotta I'm fucking sorry. come home! I gotta fucking come home! I'm sorry! This was like a fun gangster movie in the beginning. Now it's just super dark. Karen came to the house. She's very upset. You have to do the right thing. You have to go home to the family, you understand? You 
gotta go home. Jimmy and Tommy were going down to Tampa this weekend to pick up something for me. When you come back, you go back to Karen. You're not gonna get a divorce. She'll kill him, but she won't divorce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like she could blow things up, too. Yeah. She's gonna pay it. <laughs> Two days later. <laughs> No. They must really feed each other to the lions down there because the guy gave the money right up. Threatened with some lions? The guy we roughed up turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. Jimmy, oh. me, even her brother. Judge gave Jimmy and me 10 years like he was giving away what? candy. This just came out of nowhere. He wasn't even supposed to be down there. In prison, we had a pasta course, and then we had a meat or a fish. What kind of prison is this? He had this wonderful system for doing the garlic. Polly's in there with them? Vinny was in charge of the tomato sauce. Wow. Johnny Deal did the meat. Polly. This is an insane prison. I mean, everybody else in the joint was doing real time. I mean, we own the joint. What an amazing setup. No wonder they didn't really care. Yeah, I'll take that. Is he a drug addict now? I think so. Okay. Oh no, just selling. Thanks. Right. Front of the line. Oh wow, the girlfriend already came to visit. I can't stop people from coming to see me. Let her do it. Let her do it. Oh my gosh. Listen to me. All I need for you is to keep bringing me the stuff. We gotta be really, really careful while we do it. It's going south. Yeah. Four years later. Oh, got out. How the hell is this relationship still so alive? My chorus concert is in two weeks. Are you coming? Much smaller place. Yeah. You have to go see your parole officer tomorrow. Karen, don't worry about it. He's gonna be back in prison in no time. This movie is just making me progressively more hungry. <laughs> They're always eating delicious food. <laughs> Stay away from the garbage, you know what I mean? Just don't do it. And you see anybody fucking around with this shit, you're gonna tell me, right? Yeah. Dang, Polly's way over this. And Henry's gonna fuck it up real quick. I, I started using Sandy's place to mix the stuff. I had a down Sandy? payment on my oh house, my and things were really rolling. Within a couple of weeks, it got to be so big, I got Jimmy and Tommy to come oh in Oh my with God. Me for what turned out to be the biggest heist in American history. Just because he set this up, he felt he could bust Jimmy's balls for an advance on the money we were gonna steal. Maybe the biggest this town has ever seen. Stay tuned. I did not see that going no. well. No, and I thought he would be there to potentially get in trouble, but. That's what I was thinking too, but I guess he's he's one of the, at the top now. Yeah. I bought it for my wife, it's a cool. I love that car. Can I say not to go buy anything for a while? Are you stupid? We got a million fucking bulls out there. Everybody's watching us and you get a fucking car. So many conversations go so south. I can't believe this. Are you stupid or what? <laughs> Excuse me. Get it out of here. I don't care. You understand? Right. Get it out of here. Right. <laughs> These guys suck. No one can listen. Jimmy, I need Christmas, the money. Relax, relax. I'm relaxing. I need the money. Up here, evidently, they got their money. They're good. I'm wearing the same old shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Christmas, your share. Just a little taste. <laughs> Jimmy. Hey, don't be immoral with the money. Do what's right. You understand? Yeah, of course. Oh. Here. I got the most expensive tree they had. Why is everyone in this movie so stupid now? Uh, this fucking guy ain't ready. I know you weren't gonna be ready. It's 11 30. We're supposed to be here. You know, we're supposed to be there by 9. It's funeral. <gasps> what the fuck? W why? Are they just trimming down the people so they have a bigger cut? Instead of getting rid of the truck like he was supposed to, he got stoned. By the time he woke up, the cops had found the truck. It was just a matter of time before they got to Stax. Just cover under trail. What happened with Stax? Is everything okay? Nah, don't worry about that. It's all right. Jimmy, the f they're gonna make him. Oh, he's gonna make you? You're gonna get made? We're gonna work for this guy one day. He's gonna be a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I wasn't quite sure what that meant, but I guess that's a promotion? Yeah. <laughs> Henry, I don't want my fucking money. I had it up to here. All right. Boy, you're gonna get your money. You just gotta stop busting balls. Is he the only one that hasn't gotten his money? Yeah, I don't know why they're not giving him his money. They just maybe don't respect him or something. I think Maury tells his wife everything. That's when I knew Jimmy was gonna whack Maury. Yep. That's how it happens. Everyone's just got their own objective. Oh. It was like a load Ooh. off my mind. Come on, let's go up call. Henry's not oh, there to talk him out of it. Oh. Never shut the fuck up. I know something's happened. Calm down. Everything. What? Oh my god. The 
killed both of them. I feel like this is way more suspicious. Jimmy was cutting every link between himself and the robbery. Months after the robbery, they were finding bodies all over. They really are just cleaning house. There's gonna be no one left. Just Henry, Jimmy, and Tommy. I wonder what Polly thinks of all this. Yeah. That morning was that this was the day that Tommy was being made. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. At this like ceremony or something? Yeah. I love you. Like there's a lot of people in this gathering. Jimmy could take them all out. As far as Jimmy was concerned with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? It was revenge for Billy Bats. There's nothing that we could do about it. Wow. Oh, now in the 80s? I was gonna be busy all day. I feel like your day's about to be ruined, Henry. Oh! That was close. Now my plan was to drop off my brother at the house. You should not be driving. No. See, I was cooking dinner that night. This guy needs to sit down for a minute. Now my plan was to start the dinner early so Karen and I could unload the guns and then get the package for Lois for her trip later that night. Oh God, I see it. Oh no. Karen looks a bit of a mess too. I know, Karen looks like a mess as well. Yeah, they look crazy. I like how she's just tagging along for the crime now. My plan was I had to get home and get the package ready for Lois to take on her trip. This day is just stressing me out. Now make sure you leave the house when you make the call. Call from an outside line, I mean it. After everything I told her, she picks up the phone and calls from the house. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop with the drugs. You idiot. I've been carrying around this stuff all day. We gotta start taping it to your leg. We gotta go soon. It's my lucky hat. I never fly without it. Oh my gosh, these people. Please, please, oh, don't no. you move, you motherfucker. I'll blow your brains out. There's there's a lot there, Karen. Oh. When was the last time you took a collar? It turned out to be narcs. Oh, they got Sandy too. This is real bad. You guys think good in there or what, I gotta get out of here and straighten out everything with Polly or else I'm dead, Karen. Karen finally got her mother to put her house up for my bail and oh. I was out. Karen's mom? Seriously. She's been doing everything. Where's the stuff that I left, Karen? I flushed it. Food. You what? That's all the money that we had, Karen! They were gonna the find it anyways. Why did you do that? I don't want to be a gangster anymore. Oh <laughs> I'd be a way better gangster than this guy, though. Rock bottom. It's super rock bottom. This is just straight up depressing. They treated me like a fucking jerk. But I got nowhere else to go, Polly. Take this. Now I gotta turn my back on you. It's too much of a liability. But maybe at I mean, least that means Polly's not gonna try to kill him or anything. Right, that's what I was gonna say. How's he doing? He busted his balls or what? He's okay. You know what kind of questions they've been asking him? They tell you? Jimmy's gonna hunt him down. Listen, I got some beautiful Dior dresses. You wanna have them? In the store in a corner. It's swag, so I got it down the corner. I don't like this. No, no. It's right on there. Right on the corner. Mm -hmm. I'm in a hurry! I'll come back later! <laughs> that was stressful. Well, now she knows. They, yeah. He said if they stay. I just did scan it. It's okay. It's okay. You all right? Yeah. If you're part of a crew, nobody ever tells you that they're going to kill you. On the surface, of course, everything was supposed to be fine. But I had the feeling Jimmy was trying to sense whether I was going to rat him out to save my neck. They've all just been killing each other. They're all their own worst enemies, too. Jimmy had never asked me to whack somebody before, but now he's asking me to go down to Florida and do a hit with Anthony. That's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida alive. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go any place it's cold. You really don't have a choice in that matter. Witness protection? What about my parents? Don't I have some kind of contact with them? No. Can the parents come? <laughs> conversation after conversation, you're talking Ooh. to Anthony on the phone. You ratted him out. Why would you guys go down on Polly too? We're basically your only salvation. This cop's a straight shooter. I see him here in the courtroom today. Yes. 
Your Honor, please let the record reflect that Mr. Hill has identified oh. the defendant, James Conway. You better Your hope the these two die in Mr. prison. Hill has identified the defendant, Paul Cicero. I will go out and rob some more. He ran everything. Oh, he's just talking straight to us. Oh, this is awesome. And now it's all over. Get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. He's alive yeah. and he's free. Okay, so he's still alive and clean. What? After, <laughs> After all, all that? that? No way. So Paulie died. The one died. thing he said he didn't want to do was die. die in prison. Yep. 2004. Ooh, I wonder if he got out or not. All right, that was good, fellas. What you think? That was so good. That was really good. For me, that was like two different movies. Yes. Like in the beginning, I was like, this is a sick gangster movie. Like mm -hmm. everything seems so cool. Henry was just so smart and clever with everything he did. And then pretty much once he got a girlfriend, mm -hmm. everything just tanked and yes. everyone became stupid and a liability and just terrible problems, drug addicts mm -hmm. killing each other. It was just super depressing. Yeah. Just wildly two different movies, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Uh, but overall, just super entertaining and awesome. Yeah, and it was crazy to see kind of just like its spiral mm -hmm. because, like you said in the beginning, like it was, it was like cool, like all of these things that were happening, like it was the life. Like he wasn't like a murderer or anyone. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't even know if he killed anyone in the entire movie. Did. So it's like all of his crimes that he was doing were like stealing like cigarettes or whatever, yeah. like. I mean, he was still a criminal. Uh, yeah, he was still a very <laughs> bad criminal. But in terms of just being like, oh, what an exciting life. Like, he was just very well connected, mm -hmm. like getting, you know, into any place he wanted. He said in the end, like, he was living like a rock star, mm -hmm. like a movie star. Um, so it was just such an interesting scenario, especially when you think that this is a true story. Mm -hmm. I don't know how true everything was in the movie but still based on a true story. Yeah, I'm wondering if the Wise Guys book was like written by someone on the inside or kind of how that, or maybe it was based on like the court case. Right, maybe, um, yeah. yeah. And the background of that, I don't know. Cause I don't think Henry, whatever his name is now. Could have written I don't it. think he can write that. <laughs> yeah, unless he had like a ghost writer. Uh, I don't think he'd go to like a book signing. <laughs> you just get killed. That was just wild. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Uh, music soundtrack for this movie was fantastic yeah the soundtrack for this movie was fantastic which is a bummer because i know like almost none of that is going to be able to make it to youtube yeah i mean the movie was just directed amazing which yeah. we know it's it's martin scorsese mm -hmm. like but there was some really cool just like um one take shots where they're kind of like moving through restaurants mm -hmm. and stuff especially the first one that we really noticed where they're uh, introducing all of the names mm -hmm. and stuff timmy two times mm -hmm. and whatever <laughs> that's such great names yeah and then going through when they went into the very first time that karen kind of got a taste of it and they yeah. went through the kitchen yeah and they set up the whole table mm -hmm. in front of like the whole uh a comedian or mm -hmm. whatever just some really excellent shots really excellent soundtrack the pacing of the movie was excellent mm -hmm. i was so many times I was on the edge of my seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I had like the whole leg shaking. Like I was like, what's going to happen? Like anxious about it. Um, it was definitely stressful. Yeah, I mean, the movie starts with that guy in the trunk. Mm -hmm. So like it starts off with like, oh man, this is a bad situation. Yeah. And then it jumps you back about like 15 years, I yeah. think. To um, where it all started. So it made it feel like that was maybe the climax. Mm -hmm. Like whatever happened here was the situation that ruined everything. Yeah. But which... that, no, that was resolved halfway through the movie and in the grand scheme of things wasn't even, well, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it was the reason that Tommy got killed. Yeah, I was going to say it was a huge deal just for Tommy. Right. <laughs> the reason Tommy died. <laughs> yeah, it was it's the reason Tommy died, mm -hmm. which... I, for a while, I was like, what is Jimmy doing? Like, Jimmy was killing so many of, of their own guys mm -hmm. from the heist mm -hmm. that I, I was afraid of Tommy because of Jimmy. I thought Jimmy was going to, like, kill a bunch of the, like, Italians or something. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking that Polly was first killing off Tommy and then was going to kill the other two because of the heist. Right. And like killing everyone and then maybe found out about the stuff going on with the Philadelphia stuff. And yeah. like I thought it was a combination of everything, but that Polly knew. Right. So that was interesting. I mean, it really just came down to the rules are he's in, right. he's made, and you're not. 
and you've killed someone that is made. Right. Like I get that he was annoying and and insulting mm -hmm. to Tommy, but Tommy and and Jimmy made that decision too. Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess that was just an, an internal Italian mm -hmm. like cleaning up oh, their own business type of thing. Yeah. So that was very interesting. And they actually in the phone call, I feel like they did say like, oh, we tried, you know, but you know, he's gone. So I want to say maybe, maybe Polly tried to save Tommy's life, but yeah. maybe, I'm, maybe not so hard, but maybe he was like, hey, come on, like, let's not kill him. But, you know, I'm sure there's multiple people who make a decision mm -hmm. to be like, no, sorry, he's, he's has to have, he has to be killed because there's rules to follow. Right. Yeah, you don't do it for one person, it probably ruins the whole system. Yeah, that was interesting, the um, the relationship with the Irish people and the Italians. Yeah. I don't know a lot about mob life. Obviously, I'm not <laughs> I'm not in a, in a mob, but um, I don't know, I, I wouldn't have assumed that they would have been working with each other, but I, I guess they still worked with each other, but they couldn't as great as Jimmy and Henry were, they were never going to be made. Yeah, and they were never really gonna be essentially like the family. Yeah, like they, could, they could be treated like family, but they wouldn't be protected like family. Right. Even though like out of the three of them, Tommy was the worst one. Oh, absolutely. I mean. He was just such a hothead. I mean, yeah. just. Over and over again, he just totally was fucking up. He was taking things way too far. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah, that is a very interesting like whole just dynamic. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it reminds me of like, you know, Shawshank or something like there's always, even with criminals, there's rules that need to be followed. Yes. And it's just interesting to kind of glimpse of that life of how they kind of structured everything. Right. And like, where's the line? Right. Because he did so many horrible things. Yeah. But the line was, you did it to the wrong person. Right. You did it to a made guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That whole movie was just super fantastic. Yeah. But just like rolling through it, I mean, I really liked Henry and Karen. Me too. I was going to say that I loved the narration both of them had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you kind of brought up a great point where it was like, where is this narration coming from? Mm -hmm. Is it coming from like them in like an interrogation room mm -hmm. or something like that? And even though that never really became like a whole point, mm -hmm. I feel like the narration's coming from Henry and Karen sitting in the middle of wherever the hell they ended up, just chilling on the couch being like, remember how crazy our lives used to be? Yeah. Like now we're just nobodies yeah. living just to stay alive. Yeah. I definitely love the whole narration of it, but really the movie, the movie took a turn pretty quickly and it just got, it just got dark. Yes. I think it just spiraled so out of control so quickly. Like, I mean, I guess there was probably a decent amount of time that we're not like really yeah, realizing. Yeah, the span over 20 years practically. Right, but it seems like it was almost like in the blink of an eye that things just spiraled. And it wasn't just like one person. It was like their entire... Every other whole crew. Yeah, everyone. It's just you're either dead or you were gonna end up in jail. Like it just. Yeah, no, it uh, it got dark real fast, and I think that's just you get a taste of this like insane lifestyle where you feel untouchable, and yeah. when you lose it, it was like this mad scramble to get it back. Right. But then when you when you had to scramble to get it back, you made bad decisions, you made bad choices, things weren't planned, and things just kept getting worse. Yeah, it was very messy. Like everything they did was messy and it just made them, like you said, make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. They eventually got caught and that was- I mean, they were eventually ratted out. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. I mean, we know the two rules, like don't rat out your friends and keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. And Henry broke both those rules. Yeah. Also, Henry would have died if he didn't break those rules. I think it was very apparent that Jimmy was going to kill him. Yeah. It was very interesting. You know, the Dior dresses. Um, that was super stress. Like, that was very scary. I I thought Jimmy would kill. I don't know. I mean, I guess Jimmy killed, you know, without remorse. Mm -hmm. But I just didn't believe that he would go after Karen. I mean, they kill. He killed. I don't remember the the the, the, the wife the, and the and yeah the with husband, the pink car. With the pink car. That's mm -hmm. what I was. I was just about to say that I don't think Jimmy would have done that. But then I thought of that situation. I was like, well, he killed them, no problem. Well, and I think everybody knew that Karen was a little bit unstable. She already had a reputation mm -hmm. for, you know, getting he Justifiably, she would get very pissed. Oh, totally. But she would get pissed. Yeah, and she knew a lot. I mean, she started to end up 
in the end, she was like going with him. Yeah, like, yeah, as a companion mm-hmm. with all the crimes. So yeah. she she definitely had a lot of information, but that was, that was just a fucked up situation. Yeah. Cause it was almost like, Jimmy was like, okay, if she actually goes through that door, she's dead. But if she doesn't, nah, I'll just kill her later. Yeah, it's not like anybody came out to no. her car and like took her in or anything. It was like, okay. I tried. Yeah. I tried to get you to walk into that scary little yeah. doorway. We'll get her next time. Yeah. So that was that was intense. Yeah. But yeah, the movie ended with Henry ratting out the remaining friends, two guys yeah. practically. And and we get a little, since it's a true story, we get a real like little glimpse of how things ended up. Yeah. Henry like gets a divorce with his wife like 25 years later. Like, are you kidding me? You get through all of that insane BS, make it through all of that. And then you're like, you know what? We're done. It's almost as if the excitement of it like when that was no longer there, they were living a normal life in some suburb. Yeah, just a it normal like, suburb life. I don't even like you. I mean, that's a very good point because yeah. how many times did Karen say like, I know I should leave, I hate him, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, she almost shot him in bed, like, yeah. but she was just like, but I'm so attracted to him. Right, and now that excitement is gone out of their lives. And now they're just shitty people who hate each other. Yeah, they're, that are only stuck together. Yeah. So, um, so they didn't make it, Yeah. but it seems like they're both still alive. We didn't check to see if they're still alive currently, but at least in the after credits, they're still alive. Mm-hmm. The next one, Paulie, mm-hmm. how he said he didn't want to die in prison. Exactly what happened to him. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that he had that line of saying, I don't want to end up in prison and die in there and yeah. he dies in prison. Yeah. And then the final person, Jimmy, we see that he is potentially going to have a parole, I think in 2004, yep. I believe. So we looked it up to be like, oh my gosh, like that was 17 years ago. Did, yeah. he, did he get out? And apparently he passed away from cancer from cancer in prison. Uh, yeah, it looks like they did. Um, Maybe release him. They released him to a cancer institute is what it said. Oh, okay. And he died there in 1996. So, geez, just wild ending for everyone. Yeah. But what a fun and crazy and depressing movie. It's a roller coaster, but it definitely was like a roller coaster that just went like that. Yeah, it went up, <laughs> up, 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 down, 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 down. So it was a roller coaster, but it was it was insane. Yeah. Uh, but this was a great introduction for us for Martin Scorsese gangster films. I mean, I don't know how many more he has. I'm sure we're going to watch a lot more of his movies. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I know that all of the quality is either this or better than this. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think any of his movies miss. So uh, I'm really excited to watch all of them. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all of those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.